So I'm going to play this video and a couple times at normal speed, and then I'm going to break each one down of what exactly is going on here. So this is if you're fighting or defending yourself against an attacker who is bigger than you, maybe even a little bit taller than you. Um, he's going to throw a haymaker. So it's going to come around like this. Kind of a, a power hit, not as much of, of speed because it's going all the way around, unlike a straight punch. But it can hit pretty hard if it hits you, and it could possibly knock you out, depending on where he hits you. So the best defense against this kind of attack is to just not be there. So I'm going to move to the side so that hit doesn't hit me, and then I'm going to counterattack. He doesn't have arms, so let's just pretend, okay? Alright, this time we're going to go slow and I'm going to pause at certain points and explain what I'm doing. Alright, so he swings and I move to the side to avoid the punch. That first strike is kind of like a vertical punch. You have a horizontal punch and you have a vertical punch. Vertical punches are a little bit more speed based where horizontal is more power based. So it's kind of like I'm doing a quick jab to his temple. The next attack is a horizontal punch to the neck. So the, the first attack is going to, to shock him, make him create a little bit of a hesitation, give me more time to do more techniques on him. Each time I hit him, it's going to create more hesitation. All right, so I did a roundhouse kick to the solar plexus, to the body. And then I'm going to follow up with a sweeping, uh, also known as spinning heel, or a back hook kick. And that's going to hit either the jaw, breaking the jaw, the neck, or even the temple. Uh, if your attacker is taller, then that roundhouse kick would have been a low roundhouse kick. And then when you hit down there, he's going to bend over. And then that hook kick or that uh, sweeping kick would be hitting him in the head or the face.